Hey, what's going on, guys? Guess our specs here, and today I'm going to do the video where I'm just talking about channels that I really like to watch because they just make really cool and wholesome videos. The first channel is Snake Discovery, which is has almost a million subscribers. They, it's a person that used to work with. Uh, Wildlife it had a temporary position with the DNR, and now that that's over, they have a YouTube channel, obviously, where they just make informational and fun videos for people to watch. Looks like they just have fun, basically, and they don't do it for the profit only. Another channel is Paul Cafaro. He also has almost a million subscribers. Uh, he's apparently 18 years old, and he's... He does, like, every other day vlogs, I think, and it does on whatever he's doing, whether it's going, getting new animals, usually, like, fish or reptiles and stuff like that, but sometimes also other stuff. He also sometimes builds new, like, areas for his animals to live, or just sometimes does whatever, just, like, looks at stuff that's cool. Another one of these channels is... Marlene McCohen, I think that, I might, I might have said that wrong. This channel has, her channel has over 100,000 subscribers, and she does videos every few days, and that she mostly has birds. She does something that just she wants to do for the videos, whether it's just like having fun with her friends with the videos or if there's something happening and then she wants to record it she'll just do that at least it seems the next channel is the smallest of all of these which is Mikey the Macaw and friends with 42,000 subscribers so it's a pretty small channel you know not not many subscribers and in their description or their about page in the description the first sentence that says is we make videos to make you smile. So that already means that they're just doing it for fun most likely. And all their videos are just fun videos where they're making them about just whatever they feel like. Now this next channel is a bit more of a sad one because of recent events that happened because it's Ripley the Toucan. The person who owns the channel made has made all sorts of videos with Ripley, which is the toucan, obviously, and they're just there's birds out there, or over there. They're they made all sorts of videos that are just about them doing stuff that they will just like for fun with their bird, like giving the showing their bird uh, sparkling water, see what they think, giving them a slinky, see what they do with it, and just having fun. And terrorizing their friends who are scared of it but recently on January 1st well actually it was the video for it went up on January 8th the channel uploaded a video saying Ripley is no longer with us as the title which is about how Ripley passed away on January 1st it was very emotional I'm pretty sure I cried when I first watched the video and they person who is behind all the videos said that uh, they are sending Ripley off to the uh, science studies thing so then they can study toucans more because there's they're more of an exotic and uncommon animal it's nice for them to be able to study one especially since he's not they don't live in an area where toucans are common. They were giving away individual feathers of Ripley to people who donated $50 or more to their GoFundMe or Patreon. And I don't know if they've ran out of feathers or not, but they were doing that for a while and they might still be. Just as a thank you to people who are generous enough to do that much. And then they also said that any money that goes after they have all the uh, transportation to the science study area wherever it's going any extra money after that after the payments for that are done 
are going to go to getting a new toucan so they can continue co to create videos like that like they used to except with a different toucan obviously and then the final channel is a bit of a nicer one but might make you cry with more videos because it's the dodo which is a company kind that has a website and all pretty much all social medias where they do the same thing on ev all of them which is just put up stories that people send in of just helping out animals or putting them in better positions saving them or just animals that like stuff there's been at least two stories on the dodo about short spine dogs which are is a thing that happens with them sometimes apparently there's all sorts of stories of animals that are in that like had terrible experiences and then people go and save them and then they're all fine and they like the person or they are like trapped somewhere and then the a person goes and saves them and then they're happy and free and they didn't die if you watch multiple of these videos and you don't eat, even break a single smile then you must be watching the wrong videos because the they're they're really good and they're also mostly all fairly short like most of them are around three minutes few of them are longer some are shorter and they're just really nice videos I really recommend you watch at least one video of the dodo at some time or read one story on their website or whatever you want to do with it just in just do one thing on their thing you like read or watch I think one reason why I like the some of the stories from the dodo the most is because in my house right here right over there more it there's a story that's pretty much something from there except it's the story isn't in there in the dodo because one of the birds that we have in my house there that's the rooms that way they were in the zoo that my mom works at and they were in a really bad condition they had a wound on their leg that they kept picking at and their feathers weren't doing that good because they kept plucking them because their parents did that so they thought that was what you're supposed to do and it got into a really bad position where they were either going to put them down or give them to someone and so my mom was like hey we'll take them because they they were already like knew the bird already trusted her a bit so then we brought the bird we brought the bird home and put him in a plastic cage so then he couldn't damage his feet anymore and gave him medicine and there was a we had a cone around his neck and we eventually put him in waited a while and then he got better and we put him in a normal cage and took off the cone and then I think he got bad again so we put him back and then he got better and then we put him back in a normal cage and then his feathers got all better and now he's doing perfectly fine just like any other bird probably wouldn't even be able to tell that he was in any sort of bad condition with having bad fe like not the best feathers and having a giant gash in his leg except for the fact that he's scared of going on to the bottom of his cage but that that's not a big deal I think the thing that makes it so then these I like all these channels so much is just the fact that they do it for fun it's not as far as I can tell they don't do it with like any sort of like oh I'm gonna do this get really famous and then I'm gonna go and like start drama with all these people and like ruin their careers no they're just doing it for fun also they're I don't think any of these channels really clickbait their videos at all cuz all of them it's just like you see this thing in like the thumbnail and title and then you see it in the video it's not like oh it says that they're going to go and build a new place for their fish and then they don't it's like they say that and then they do or like they show what it's like for these animals to be in this position and then be saved and then they show that in the video 
And yeah, that's going to be another video. I'll leave a link to all of the pages with the dodo on the top because I really think you should check out their stuff. It, it sh really should bring a smile to your face with any of the videos that are on there, really. And uh, if you want to donate to Ripley the Toucan, the uh, uh, links I'm... I won't link them, but I'll link the channel, which also has them, and also the links are gofundme.com slash rememberingripley and patreon.com slash toucan with just the number two in can. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.